Hi, welcome you to my another video. Today we will review quite extraordinary multimeter that looks rather like a mobile phone and offers some unusual functions I would personally like to see even in other multimeters. And it is GVDA GD128. Does this multimeter define the new direction multimeters will evolve? Hmm, I will leave that question for you to answer it by yourself after this review. A GVDA seller from AliExpress has offered me cooperation. He sent me his two brand new products for year of 2021 for me to test them and review them on my YouTube channel. He sent them for free. Actually, my primary YouTube channel is in Czech language and it rolls nicely, but I decided to start parallel English channel so my videos help people all around the world and not just Czechs and Slovaks. Therefore, thank GVD seller for providing me with free tools to review. First, we will look at basic parameters. Then we open it and boot it. After that, I will demonstrate functions and swiftness of control, search and beeping. And then comes safety warning and finally conclusion. The multimeter sells for approximately 40 US dollars. The paper box, hmm, I would throw it away. But it contains some info and moreover, it is nicely colorful. So, the accuracy of 0.5% for DC voltage and all the other accuracies for other functions fit just right in voters of digital multimeters for regular everyday use. My personal measurement of accuracy proved that DC volts are measured with maximum of 0.14% error and DC current is measured with 0.1% error. Looks definitely beautiful, but please keep in mind that my measurement instruments are far from laboratory grade and that I only measured 6 values of each. Display has 4 full counts that makes maximum value of 9999 or 4 nines. Such reading is suitable for instruments of let's say 0.1% precision, but since this multimeter quite meets it, I would say it is good to have one more digit in your display. Bar graph is useful function many better multimeters have today. You can watch signal behavior in time, just like if you watch some slowly changing values on analog multimeter. Sometimes uh, seeing, for example, switching power supply slowly ticking or some capacitors discharging is better with bar graph as constantly changing numbers don't tell much, bar graph does. What I like and also even a little bit hate is EBTN inverse display. Uh, they are just beautiful to look at, but you can't read them on direct sunlight. So let's unbox it. The outer shell case is rather hard. When we open it, we see everything we need. The multimeter holds in place pretty well, so it's even difficult to take it out. Test leads and cape rope are held quite nicely, not prone to come out by themselves. Test leads are classic what you get everywhere, but personally I prefer these pointy ones as I can stick them in connectors and other tight places. The insulation is PVC. I personally prefer uh, rubber or rubberish silicone. They are fortunately full of copper as they don't heat up when 10 amperes are passing through them. Multimeter not only looks like mobile phone, but you even have to put it out of its case to insert batteries. Being powered from three triple A's, hmm, this solution is today the best, I would say, as I personally hate 9 volt batteries. Because leads are inserted from the bottom, the multimeter has no stand, so it is doomed to lay on your desk. The leads inputs are standard 4mm banana with insulation. What I love about this multimeter is the fact that it not only recognizes if there is lead inserted in both amp and milliamp holes, but it also notifies you and switches mode accordingly. 
This is actually safety idiot proof design. There is a term for that that goes uh, to measure amperes in outlet. Sometimes it can happen that you forget your leads in ampere holes and you switch your multimeter to volts and want to measure socket mains voltage or car battery voltage. And what then happens is a huge explosion that melts your leads, blows your fuse in your multimeter, triggers circuit breaker and sometimes even shits your pants. Current measuring holes have really low resistance between them and COM hole. There is shunt resistor of small value, typically around 10 milliohms. So the ampere and milliampere holes are almost shorted to COM hole. Therefore, if you try to measure, as we say, amperes in outlet, you make it looks like short circuit that you hold in your hands. This multimeter does everything to avoid that, to remind you that you forget leads in ampere hole. Let's test it. I turn it on. Com and volt holes are blinking. I insert the leads in milliamp hole. The multimeter immediately switches to milliamp mode and I can't forcefully leave it by pressing the select button. But then I can take the lead out and I can switch to anything I want. Same with amperes. It switches to the mode and I can't leave it unless I take out the lead. If I just leave it without leads and manually switch to current, it notifies me lead. Nice. This multimeter also embeds another smart function. It has automatic mode selection. Once you turn it on, it tries to detect whether you want to measure AC or DC voltage resistance or continuity. Of course this mode is a little slower than forcing the mode by yourself. But hey, nice function. It finds itself quite fast. This is an automatic. Quite slow response, but if you switch it manually. Beautiful. Now let's switch back to automatic. Three, two, one, now. <laughs> hmm. Three, two, one, now. <laughs> really fast response for DC voltage. Really fast. Let's go through the buttons. Red button is for mode selection. You can always long press it and return to automatic. Range button only works in some modes and enables you to lock the range within one mode. This is up to 9.999 volts. This, this is up to 99 volts. 999 and 9 again. Long press the button to deactivate and switch to automatic. Cell button is for AC or DC selection and some other things like if you go from NCV to live max and min when engaged keeps showing the maximum or the minimum value it has measured so far beginning from the button press of course it only works if you have for example switched to DC volts then it switches to manual mode and maximum and minimum value it has measured so far rel is relative value. It zeroes itself and then shows difference between actual and reference value. Hold function freezes the value. On the right side APO is auto power off. With this you can engage or disengage the automatic turn off after some time to save battery. Next to power button we have place where hole sensor for NCV sits. To the left is torch button. I must say I have seen better, but even worse. So this one is just about normal. The current inputs are all fused. Milliamp input is fused with 600 milliamp fuse 
and 10 amp fuse respectively. They are standard tube 6.3 times 32 mm fuse. But what's great is blown fuse indication. When you turn on the multimeter, it shows blown fuse icon in the upper right corner. And if you attempt to switch to the respective mode, multimeter says fuse. What a beautiful thing to have. To test speed, I can show how fast it is trying measuring voltage. I can also show you how this multimeter compares to my other multimeters. So, speed of voltage measurement. 3, 2, 1, now. Once more. 3, 2, 1, now. NCV function or non-contact voltage detection is normal and has two degrees. This is UPS. It has quite a hysteresis, but works well. There is also one more function, live. The multimeter detects presence of voltage with just one lead. Great for, let's say, contactors to know whether their coils are energized. But please, don't rely on this function. If you want to touch something, then detection is absolutely not enough to tell if the thing is energized or not. It only tells you the most probable value. I've inserted the lead into the right hole that goes volt and everything other and I will insert this tip to live connection somewhere in a socket that doesn't have IP IP rating. Yeah. So this is detection of energized output of outlet with just one wire it's just detection not measurement of course and there is also GD 118 B it's twice as cheap it can't measure amperes only milliamps it can't measure temperature it has monochromatic display lower number of buttons display ends at 5999 and it is powered by two button cell CR2032 Personally, I think that GD128 is worth the money over 118B. One more function before we go to conclusion. If you have either 10 amps or a milliamps mode enabled, then the multimeter beeps after some time to remind you that you have it on amps. Now, so the conclusion, uh, the GVDA GD128 is interesting machine with few useful functions to make your day easier and beepier. It automatically selects mode, it doesn't let you measure amperes in outlet and it informs you about bone fuse. Its measured precision stands within claimed range with reserve and its speed is one of the best in class I have seen. Is it worth the money? that you must answer by yourself. This is everything for this video, goodbye and see you in another video.